In order to graph a piecewise function on a graphing calculator, you have to split it into separate functions for each piece. And the trick to get it to work on the calculator is we divide it by what's called a test condition here. So, so if we have the first piece is sine of x for x less than 3 and y1, I'm going to put sine of x and group it in parentheses and then divide it by, and then its condition, x less than 3. Um, let me jump down to the bottom one there. I have negative x squared in parentheses divided by its condition, x greater than or equal to 5. And I'll show you how to get the inequality symbols in a minute. The compound inequalities, the calculator can't interpret those all at one time, so you actually have to split those apart too. Okay? So I'm going to do in parentheses my, my piece here, 1 half x plus 1, divided by, in parentheses, the first part, 3 is less than x, and then divided by the other condition, x less than 5. So you have to split compound inequalities apart like that. And what it does, these are under the test menu when I go to get the symbols. It'll either evaluate as a 0 or a 1. If I have values where x is not less than 3, it'll evaluate as a 0, divide by 0, and do nothing. And when it's true, it'll evaluate as a 1 and plot sine of x divided by 1. Okay. So that's how it, how it works. Um, so let me do it here. So I'm going to turn it on. So, yeah, so always, even if you only have one term, I think it's good practice to always put the piece in a set of parentheses to make sure things are grouped up correctly. But So we have sine of x. I'll check my modes in a minute. But we have sine of x. So I have my first piece divided by my condition. I want x. So we need to go into the test menu, second, math, and you have the inequality symbols. So either go down or I'm just going to hit number 5, less than 3. And then my next piece, parentheses, one half. I'm going to go ahead and do a time symbol times x plus one. Group that up, divided by, again, I have to split the conditions here. So we have three second math less than is number five. So three is less than x, divided by parentheses x less than five. Again, second math test menu. And one more piece. So in parentheses, negative x squared. Close it up, divided by its condition, x greater than or equal to. So that's number four, five. Okay. I'm going to check a couple of things here. I'm going to check my mode. I'm doing a trig function, so I want to be in radians. I'm just going to do zoom 6, zoom standard, and see what we got here. So we've got sine of x, but it stops when we get to 3. Then we have the line, 1 half x plus 1. And let's see, negative x squared. I guess my values there were all the way out to 5, so let's change our window. They're negative x squared. So let's do like negative 100. That may be too far. Let's do negative 50 to about 5 by 5s and see if we can see it. Just play around with the window a little bit. So of course it flattens that out, but just if I want to see that third piece. Okay, so that's how you do it.